guys bill well i got another little tip for you uh remember here a while back on one of my videos you saw me making this knife and uh i made this out of a, an old sickle blade well i couldn't find much to sharpen this thing um i did a uh another video eh, even further back about this uh a sharpening st uh, stick that I carry and what I done with this and I've done this probably 20 years ago uh, I actually glued leather to this stick it's just a good old oak stick and believe it or not it's a stick uh, it's a grade stick out from underneath UT Stadium so it's a pretty old stick uh, but uh, it I glued leather on there I carved a little flat spot on this side and then I glued leather around the round part. Now what I've done, you can see where, you know how leather is kind of uh, fray on one side and then it's real smooth on the other. Well, I did the smooth side up on all these here and I glued it on really good. And over the last 20 years, I have taken uh, valve grinding compound and put it in here and I've worked it in. I use this stone to uh, sharpen all my carving knives or this stick and I take it with me in my pack also and it's gentle enough to keep a nice polished edge uh, on your tools and it really raises the edge on this on these blades and uh, of course it it does a fine job of polishing once that uh, valve grinding compound is impregnated into that leather it's in there for a good long time so it's it's better than any uh, diamond sharpener that you can buy out there you ought to give it a shot and of course on this side over here i just turned the leather back upside down uh toward you know just a little bit of buffing uh can easily be done on the, the back side but i wanted to share that with you again it's a nice and i just made a little pvc holder here just to keep that valve grinding compound from getting all in my carry pack but uh, that works good. Give that a try. It's just some valve grinding compounds you can buy at any auto parts store in a little old tube. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you today is this right here. I was in a paint store and I seen this file. And this is just a blade file. It's a blade file. And it has some of the finest teeth on it uh, on this end here. And I thought I'd give it a shot on this hard steel. And buddy, it really, you can just, you can hear it just cutting into that. You know, normally you would hear it skate off the blade. You know, your sharpening tools or the stones. And this thing's never really lost an edge either. But uh, just to keep an edge on it when I get out and really use it, that right here is going to be pretty good. You can hear that just really, it kind of pulls it out. And it's real fine teeth. Never go in circles uh, with a file. Or pull backwards because it runs the file uh, but just straightforward nice and gentle no pressure at all and uh, then I can come right back with this guy right here and just polish that edge right out with that valve grinding compound on leather now some of you guys might be able to get creative I've thought about uh, I've got a wider one in there that I've put together quite some time ago and I thought about attaching it to my sheath right here with a cover piece uh, maybe some good ideas from you guys on that but just a good full piece of leather and it wouldn't take long to work in some valve grinding compound on it and it'd stay flexible and then just some type of cover that'll cover it really nice but uh, that same system works really good on the, all of my knives that I carry uh, this is a, a good one it's got a good um, Scandi edge built all the way up on the top good thick blade full tang uh, it's a homemade knife that uh, a friend made for me and of course I made a, a, a sheath to, to hang on my leg but uh, just wanted to share that with you guys it's a really good file any old paint store would probably have them uh, it's actually a blade sharpener um, so it's got real fine teeth and it's good high carbon steel you would always have a good striker in your bag too and of course give the leather and valve grinding compound a try. Just wanted to share that with you guys today and uh, let me know what you think.